Good morning. Um, I'm just popping on here to check in. Um, it's the next day and I'm still working on my painting. <laughs> um, but I thought I would share another, I guess, wellness life tip that I do. Um, so I feel like I've heard other people say this, but I think it's really important nonetheless. Having a morning routine, like a morning um, practice, to kind of wake yourself up and sort of reconnect with yourself after a long night of sleep. Um, one thing I love to do is yoga. Um, so whenever I can, if I'm not working super early in the morning, which I won't be doing anymore, I changed my hours, so I'll have that morning to, um, that time to do some yoga to stretch because my body often feels, you know, kind of like tight, achy when I wake up in the morning. Um, but it's also just a really good way to wake up because you're focusing on your breath, you're stretching your body, and you're reconnecting with yourself. So, um, doing yoga. Um, this morning, I actually also, um, let me go get it, <laughs> practice. I also practiced meditation this morning, which I'm trying to incorporate much more in my daily life and in just a few minutes a day even, if, if nothing, um, if nothing else. So um, I picked up this uh, sheet, it's um, finger mudras, <laughs> at my local yoga studio. Um, currently I am going to Core Power Yoga and I really like it, I highly recommend it to anybody. It is a bit pricey, but they do offer a student discount, and you, if you join the crew team, um, which is like the cleaning crew, you get like a discount on your um, your membership, like a really good one, and you also get like a discount on like the retail items they offer, so I've definitely considered doing that. I should probably send into my application just so I can get like, yeah, all the benefits, and I don't mind cleaning, so. I digress. <laughs> um, finger mudras. So this morning when I was sitting in meditation, I was just sitting in um, lotus posture, just legs crossed, sitting up tall. Um, the sheet says to start from the root chakra. So, you know, this morning I just practiced each one. So hold your hands like this, put them on your knees, and then the sound associated, associated with that is la. So just inhale and it's good to hold that as long as you can um, I'm sorry if I keep looking over here it's just I'm getting used to this so bear with me um, yeah second sacral chakra right palm resting on top of the left thumbs touching rest it just on your lap the sound is thumb. Uh, solar plexus hands interlaced. I don't know if they want a particular thumb to be on top. Most people would put the right, although I've been trying to switch things up, so I've been putting my left thumb, thumb left hand kind of over the right lately, just to kind of, for my own personal practice, to balance myself out. But do whatever's comfortable, do whatever's natural to you. Um, that one is for the solar plexus, which is right here. Um, and the sound associated with that is Ram, so. You can probably just leave it rested on your lap, just like the other um, mudras. But one thing I tried this morning, which I'm sure there's not really a wrong way to do it per se, but um, I tried to hold each mudra on the, like at the chakra associated with it. So um, this one you can put right here, or you can rest on your lap. Either one is fine, I think. And that sound is. Ram. The heart chakra, similar to the first one, although the fingers look like they're more curved, and then you have the left hand resting on the knee, the right hand at the chak at the th uh, heart chakra. Um, that sound is yum. The throat chakra, this one is interesting, similar to the sacral chakra, but you interlace the fingers connecting the thumbs, and then I tried to hold this one, it was a little bit awkward, but I tried to hold this one here, and the sound associated with that one is hum, so, hum, and doing each
each of these, it's really important to um, inhale deeply all the way down here to your belly, and then exhale long, and continue to focus on your exhale until you're totally empty, which most people, including myself, struggle to follow the exhale all the way to its completion. So I think that's very important though for just centering and really, really taking um, taking joy and presence in each moment fully instead of just cutting it short. Um, so that's just a little side note. Um, third eye chakra. Connect the... Uh, Connect your index fingers, making like a triangle or arrow pointed up. Um, I also connected my thumbs. I don't know if there's a way to do that properly or not, but connect my thumbs, make sort of an L shape, I guess. And then I held it to my third eye chakra, which is the chakra associated with this mudra. The sound is AUM, A-U-M. So inhale. Um, that one I did try to follow the exhale. And then the seventh and final chakra um, for this meditation practice is the crown chakra. <laughs> It's hard to tell in this picture, but I think I did it correctly this morning. Um, fingers interlaced. So interlace all your fingers. Take your pinkies, touch your pinkies together, and then your thumbs are just tucked. This one, yeah, you can either keep it on your lap or I just put it on top of my head because that's what I've been doing this whole time. So, <laughs> um, so inhale. The sound associated with that one is on A N G. Yeah, so that was sort of just like a fun meditative practice that I did. I just literally picked up a free sheet at my local yoga studio. And I thought I would try it out because I was just recently introduced to finger mudras and I've really been trying to, as you've probably seen in the previous clips, I've been trying to incorporate those in my daily life to just help me kind of rebalance, recenter, and reconnect um, to the present moment, <laughs> if you will. Something you could do at any time and very, very beneficial. Um, so yeah, I... I'm going to my niece's birthday today. She's turning four years old, and um, I don't want to be late, so I was just checking in, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Hi, good morning, or should I say almost good afternoon. Um, again, I'm in my car. I This is probably the best place for me to film because I can speak louder. <laughs> I'm currently living with a roommate, and she was sleeping this morning, so that's why my voice was kind of quiet, but um, yep, just uh, on my way to my niece's birthday. Um, as you can see, I've done my hair and makeup, and I just wanted to say um, another tip, something that I try to practice every day, positive affirmations. And I know some people think that this stuff is just silly, but it really isn't. Um, yeah, I've followed a couple other YouTubers who swear by this, and I kept a whole journal, and I have another journal now, um, filled out almost two journals now, of uh, journaling, positive affirmations, um, I also like to draw too. I like to like draw and imagine, use my imagination um, as much as possible. But um, saying positive affirmations to yourself anytime you feel or anytime you feel low, anytime you have a creeping thought in your head that's telling you you are less than, just change it. Just change it to I am a strong, confident goddess. <laughs> and eventually, if you say that enough, you will believe it. And you have to say it, you have to feel it, and be like, this is true, because you are a strong, confident goddess, or a god, whatever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Um, we are all deserving of love. The absolute best love we can give ourselves. Universal love. And um, it's important to be reminded of that, because I believe every single living person, every single living thing is deserving of that love. So it's just important 
whatever affirmation gets you feeling confident and reminds you that you are loved, do that. <laughs> Say that. Feel that. Write it. Um, and I am also one of those people that's going to swear by it because it's transformed my life in ways I never thought possible. So, yep, I'm going to focus on the road now. Um, I need to get a car mount because I'm just holding my camera right now. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'll check back in later. Until then, have a wonderful day. Hey, so I just came back from, just got back to my car from my niece's birthday. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of energy. <laughs> Seeing all the kids everywhere and my sister-in-law, well, ex-sister-in-law, uh, still my sister, always. She did an amazing job with, it was a unicorn themed birthday party. I loved it. As you can see, I have a crown here. She actually made these herself. Like she put the glitter on them and everything. Oh, so cute. Just like rainbows everywhere, unicorns. So beautiful. I can definitely say though, I'm like thoroughly exhausted. <laughs> oh my goodness. Being around so many kids and family. It's really wonderful. And I'm honestly truly grateful for it. It felt really nice to be with everybody and we finally got a beautiful sunny day. It's been raining here in Southern California um, for a lot of February, but this was a perfect day. It was a perfect day, honestly. Um, i trying to think if I have any wellness advice. Um, I'd say just really enjoying all the experiences, all the moments, and wear a unicorn tiara. Just sometimes it's what you got to do to enjoy life <laughs> and um and why not you know why not so uh yeah i'm uh just gonna head back to uh my family-in-law <laughs> kind of i i don't really want to talk about that part of my life that much um right now maybe in the future but I'm just gonna go and uh say hi to some more people and then i was hoping to go to a cafe and uh Maybe edit this, get some work done, and, um, yeah, try to make sense of it all. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, it's really important to take time to just spend time with your family, your friends, just be a little kid at heart, because <laughs> sometimes, at least for me, it's really easy to get caught up in work really easy to get caught up in whether you're working like for your job whether you're working on yourself whether you're working yeah on yourself in any way whether it's mentally emotionally um physically spiritually um regardless of the kind of work you're doing it's really easy to get caught up because we get so we just want to like get things done and we just want to see things we just want to get there, you know what I mean? At least me personally, I just really am somebody who's just, I try to grind and grind and grind because I just want to be my best self already. And I just want to, um, I want to be there. And I, cause you know, I, I have such a vivid imagination. Um, and I just see all my dreams and goals and I see like everywhere where I, I know I'm meant to be. And, um, sometimes it's frustrating when I'm not there yet and um, so I try to work harder thinking that I'll get there faster but life isn't totally like that <laughs> you can only work so hard for so long um, and there are definitely certain aspects in life that do require patience and do require you to just sit out and enjoy because otherwise you're sort of missing the point I think and that's a lesson I'm still learning every day. <laughs> it's a lesson I'm still learning every day. So I guess that was sort of another tip of mine is just really take time out to enjoy time with your family and friends. Um, be patient, you know, because life isn't just about work all the time. Because you're going to get there. If you really want it, you're going to get there one day. Um, but today was about celebrating my four-year-old niece's birthday and wearing a unicorn tiara. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I am still going to get some work done, but that's another uh, another wellness tip. I'm up here in Costa Mesa right now. Um, honestly, I 
it feels really good to be a traveler. <laughs> I definitely see myself doing that more. Um, yeah, so, peace, love and light, peace and blessings. Alright, final check-in for today. It's February 23rd, by the way, so all the previous clips I've been from, um, I'll probably include some from yesterday and some from today. Um, I just drove home for my niece's birthday. It's dark outside, so this clip's gonna be a lot darker, but I don't care. <laughs> um, one final thing I wanted to share is that Life is a journey, and it's a lot easier if you learn to trust, trust yourself, and trust the universe, or God, whatever you want to call it, higher power. <laughs> um, nobody accomplishes anything alone, and uh, it takes a weight off your shoulders when you just let yourself be and trust that it's all going to work out and that everything that you've been through and everything you're going through currently and everything you will go through is all meant to teach you something and if you look even further than that like learning the lessons it's everything is a blessing all the hardship the struggle the friends, family, the experiences, gifts, everything. Everything is a blessing. And when you remember to hold that in perspective and keep that as your point of view, life is very enjoyable. Even the struggles. Like, I had to work really hard <laughs> to get to a, a mindset where I could really accept that um, yeah, I just, <laughs> I, I just couldn't accept that. I couldn't, I couldn't believe that life could be enjoyable like that. But, you know, even when shitty stuff happens, it's like, I don't know. I feel like I get over it so much faster now. <laughs> I get over it because it's like, oh, that sucks. And then, you just realize, like, you just have to roll with it and be like, okay, we're just going to change course a little bit. It doesn't stop your journey. It doesn't stop your mission or, you know, anything. It doesn't stop what you're doing. It's just like, okay, we have to take a detour. Like, and it was for the better because if you had to make that change, it just means you had to learn something and you're taking a better route that's more suited and more aligned with your journey anyway so that's how I choose to see it <laughs> um yeah trust the universe because really trust your intuition trust yourself because like that's all you can do <laughs> it's all you can do and at least for me it's really worked out it has um when you really really just let yourself be always know that you're never alone you're always in good hands that's that's another thing that I feel really grateful for is no matter where I go there's always always a handful of people too not just one person but there's always at least one person that is looking out for you and they want to help you and they want to see you succeed and sometimes you have to be brave and ask for that help and other times you know, you kind of have like a guardian angel and they'll, they know, they know that you need help and they'll help you out. And so yeah, never, never feel alone. <laughs> Just know like the universe always sends somebody. <laughs> and um, yeah. Sorry if any of that was a little bit rambly. Um, yeah. I just I had a really good day today. And um, 
I feel I feel a lot like myself, which that might seem like a really s- silly or simple thing to say, but um, I spent a lot a long time not feeling like myself. Um, I'll probably talk about that or express that more in the future if you know if it comes up or if I feel like it's needed. But um, yeah, I did not feel like myself for a long time, and so it feels really really good to be back and to feel whole and to feel at peace (laughs) that's the best feeling it feels better than like excitement or like joy even joy is wonderful and joy should be felt and expressed whenever possible um but realistically peace and bliss and solitude just peace (laughs) is the ultimate best feeling because it's right in the middle (laughs) um yeah so i'm gonna head back into my apartment i gotta um you know clean my face and get ready for bed because i had a really good day and i'd like to have a really good night's sleep tonight too so I should think of a cool outro Something unique I'm sure it'll come to me Stay grounded (laughs) We'll try that out Stay grounded